Good day, sir. Good day, young man. How may I help you? I'm Inspector Brian from the first headquarters. Okay. Are you Mr. Fred Okonkwo, known as Fred? Yes, I am. Okay, do you... Do you know any... Miss Danella Iwunze? Yes, I, I know her. As a matter of fact, she's my ex-wife. Your ex-wife? Yes. She was murdered in her residence. Murdered? By who? When? How? Uh, sorry. Who killed her? Sorry, you have to come with us to the station for more questioning. After you, sir. All right. She was two months pregnant. We were planning on getting married. Why? You, you need to calm down. Why? Okay? Relax. You deserve this. You don't deserve this. The police are on it. I promise you. Look, they promised us too that they will get to the root of this. Relax. How? How did this happen? Was there no CCTV here? Of course there are, but the CCTV got spoiled and she was planning on fixing it before before this happened. Oh, oh, 
There's one in the office, okay? Please. Mm. It's okay. This guy will not bring her back, and you know that. No, let us not do that. It's okay. Just, just leave it. Okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Oh. Can you stop doing it? DMD wants to see you two in his office right now. Now? Right now. Okay, okay. Please take care of her. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Please just put yourself together, okay? Take care of her. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Emily yourself and you know that how long do you want to continue languishing in this self agony and pain she's gone and nothing can bring her back look we all want her back but we can't turn the hands of time just be okay you can continue like this all right just be fine, okay? Roland, Roland is around. Oh, yes. I was actually in her house when he came. Poor oh, Roland. Happy like I'm the one that. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, girl, I am happy for you. Thank Everything you. is just happening at the same time. Promotion, new house, now this. <laughs> ah, babe, I should have made a perfect makeup for oh, no day. <laughs> and the most amazing aspect of the whole thing is that he still went ahead to propose after everything Susan said to him. Ah, <sighs> that shocked me. Because at some point I thought it's over. I mean, that's it. And then he turns around to do this. Babes, I'm happy. I am just so happy. You know? You are happy? And I am excited like I am the one that just got engaged. Come on! But really, I don't blame Susan. I don't. I know she did what she did out of anger. 
she wanted to spite me and um, though she went far but I don't blame her I don't blame her at all I just I just wish she would accept my apology because I've tried several times to tell her how sorry I am about what happened mm -mm, mm -mm. and truly I am sorry Danny I'm sorry Danny I just... not now come on this is a happy moment we should enjoy it but All right. I don't want you to complain. I just want you to be happy. Don't worry, Susan will come around. Mm -hmm. Whatever, what are we even talking about? It was this man that molested you. Oh, no, not no, the no. other way around. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Emily, please don't go there. We're not judging. We're not trying to apportion blames right now. Danny. In the first place, I shouldn't have placed myself in that situation. Uh, I shouldn't have been there. Whatever that happened, I, I take the blame. And I'm sorry about it. That's fine. That's enough. It's Let's not celebrate. enough. It's not enough because she has not forgiven me. And I pray one day she wakes up to see how sorry I am and accept it. Okay. One day, Susan, wake up, see how sorry you are, and then accept that you're sorry, yeah? And I know so. Girl, I'm so happy. I'm so the ring happy. Again. Ah. Ah. <laughs> oh, my. My oh, love. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So happy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Ella baby. Ella baby. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank so, you so aren't much. you guys gonna congratulate me too? Calm down now. As Your what? time As is coming. That's right. <laughs> okay, congrats. <laughs> what are we waiting for? Let's celebrate already. Yes, please champagne. Bye, girl. Hello. She's coming, she's coming. When you're talking to the bag, say, hey, my girl. Hey, my girl. Hey, my oh, girl. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Alright. I just want to pour out my heart to you. Go ahead. I know it might sound somehow, but I hope you understand. I have two suspects. But I will let the police do their job. Two suspects. And they are? Susan and Daniela's ex-husband. Emily, Susan cannot hold a fly. She's so innocent. Look, I've tried her several ways and she passed the test. I, I, I know you and I know she can be this um, aggravating when she's angry, threatening words. You know how she can be now, but she can't hold a fly. It, it, it's just a mere threat. She doesn't mean any of them. So I don't, I don't, I, 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 I don't think. I carried an in-depth research on her. Did she ever mention it to you that she once stabbed the girl with a bottle in the club for giving her boyfriend the lap dance? And all those ones are long gone now. They, they were in the past and they remain in her past. I, I really don't like it when we bring in people's past into their present. It doesn't sound good. And you can't judge her based on that fact. Because you and I weren't there when it happened. Besides, the Bobo is no longer with her. And she was barely 18 when this happened. You can't judge her with that. The truth is... There is no justification for immorality. Once there is crime, 
the past can be revisited. Please excuse me. Emily, I... No, 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 no. Look, I just want you to know that I stand I... on the path of justice. Let justice just prevail. I'm not supporting anyone. Okay? Excuse me. Oh, Lord, I, I have lost my peace. Every night comes with terrible nightmares. How can they say they aborted the mission while Ella is lying in the mortuary? How? No, no, no. I don't believe them. I do not believe them. I don't. They killed Daniela. They killed her. So I would die with my pregnancy. God, I am so scared. Next month is my delivery month. Oh Lord, I don't want to die. I don't want to die. Please help me. Babe. Why are you so much? I am scared. I am very scared. I cannot even sleep. Understand you scared because of um, Ella's death, but you need to pull yourself together, okay? I'm very scared. No, I want you to, to hold me. Perhaps Ella's ghost might be hovering all over the compound. Hey, hey, in hey, the rooms. Hey, hey, come on, babes. No, don't don't see that, okay? Get those thoughts off your head, please. It's lit. <laughs> All right. Come. Come on, lie down. Let's sleep. Please. You hold me, right? Of course, I will. Okay, please don't leave me if you hold me. I'm not leaving you. Okay, please hold me tight, please. make any difference, young lady. Fine! I've told you everything you're supposed to know. Hmm. You broke up with Fred because Daniela served him a divorce later and got everything back. We lost our baby. Yes! We went our separate ways. Detective, I know nothing about her death. And Fred, your boyfriend, is not a killer, right? Like I said, we went a separate ways. I know nothing about her death. I can only speak for myself. I can't speak for him. Stop shouting! Look, why do I have this feeling that you broke up with him because he couldn't get his ex-wife back so you can take the five millionaire properties and zoom out of this country as planned? Why do I have this feeling? Tell me! Detective, I maintain my stand. I know nothing about her death. I didn't plan any assassination with Fred. Did I make any mistake by telling you everything? At this point, I need to speak to my lawyer. I need to speak to my lawyer at this point. I need to talk to my lawyer. Officers. Every marriage has its misunderstanding and challenge. My marriage to Ella wasn't different. We had our ups and downs. We had our challenges and our differences. 
But that doesn't mean I killed Ella. I put it to you that you tried to reconcile with her because you needed money and the next of king title. I tried to reconcile with her because I loved her and I wanted her back. What is your definition of love? Educate me. Is that why I am here? You are here because you abused a vulnerable woman. Constantly abusing her until she decided to leave the toxic marriage. And then you sent on an assassin. Or probably war a face marks to go and kill her. I did not kill Ella. Then who did? It's your job. It's your job to find out who killed her because I did not kill her. What intention did you have when you kicked your late ex-wife on her stomach? You beat her countless times. Tell me what intention did you have? Don't you think it is tantamount to killing? Officer, like I said earlier, every marriage had its misunderstanding and challenges. Mine wasn't different. She wanted to leave. I pleaded with her. I begged her to stay, but she refused. And she left. Mr. Fred, you always threatened to kill her. You also wished her death. You forced your ex late wife, Daniela, to make you her next of kin. On what grounds? <laughs> Officer, she was my wife. You have to know that she was my wife. And what relationship did you keep with your in-laws? Her parents. Keep talking. The relationship I kept with my ex-wife's parents has nothing to do with the last death. Outside, I think I need to go because I've been here for more than three hours entertaining questions from both of you. You will soon understand. Do you think um, Fred, the ex-husband, did this to her? And do you think she's responsible? There's a high tendency. But he's still under police custody. <sighs> All right, <sighs> good. <sighs> Papa, please, um, sorry about everything. Please take heart. Thank you. I, uh, I will try and be here tomorrow. It's all right. All right. Uh, good night, sir. Yeah, good night. Thank you so good much. Good night. Uh. Okay. Thank you. Take my leave.
killed her. Oh, how am I going to do this? So I'm going to die. I'm going to die with my pregnancy during labor. Oh no. God, please. Please, I am sorry. I am so, so sorry. I can't tell anyone about this. No, I can't. They will stone me to death. They will kill me. Oh God, what have I done? What have I done, God? What have I done? Who killed me? Hey, why are you here all alone? Not again. Not again now, eh? Not again. No amount of tears will bring her back. She was a friend to me. More like a sister. I can't believe she's dead too. But it's fine. Alright? The police are investigating this matter and I'm sure very soon they will come out with positive results. I know God will punish whosoever is responsible for this. My God will punish that person. This pain. This pain. This well. help me. You have to help me. You know that I didn't kill Ella. I didn't kill her. And the management should not query me for something I know nothing about. Susan, my hands are tied. My hands are really tied. I mean, look at you. How could you go about telling people about my escapade with Ella? About the ex-sexual affair I had with her? How could you? How? Something that happened just once? Just a few minutes before you walked in? Oh, come on. You even undermined how I will feel about it. Oh, yes. You even promised to end her life. Craig, those were mere words. Yes. Well, I, I said everything out of anger. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean any bit of it. You're shouting. You're shouting. Look. Did you remember what happened in Linda's birthday party? Do you? Cheers. 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 Did I say to more money? Thank you. Red light. Very important, girl. Thank you very much. Happy birthday. More promotion. <laughs> say that ten times. I want to hear you. <laughs> Thank you very much. Anyways, don't worry. I I have something special for you anyway. Better gift, but you get it first thing tomorrow morning oh. at the office. <clears throat> I can disturb you. Come to your desk and he will give it to you. My baby is telling Baby, are you sure? Yeah, I'll give it to you. So, when is the king coming? Because I'm waiting for the king. I've been calling the That's the part I want. I've been calling her to get it. Oh, don't worry. Um, It's okay. Well, why is it. She's fine. She's uh, fine. Uh, why is, am I the only one you're asking about gifts? She already did. She did? Mm -hmm. You My did bank. too? Yes! My <laughs> bank is popping. I do not fail to. And you are the man. You're supposed to be popping my account by now. Uh -huh. 
Man. Call the cake lady. I'm very interested in that cake. Don't worry, you give it. He said tomorrow, so if he doesn't do it, we we'll follow him up. Ma? Okay. Like, did you just say that? Uh, at this point, I want us to read a bit this song, like. Happy birthday to you. Mm-hmm. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, <laughs> happy birthday to you. <laughs> Honestly, happy birthday. I wish you everything <coughs> you wish yourself. <coughs> I'm sorry. Okay. I'm alright. Right. Do you need water? Nah, my drink is here. Happy it's birthday, okay. darling. Happy okay. birthday. <laughs> so we're going to club after. <coughs> Oh, are you sure you're fine? <coughs> you're... What? <coughs> what? <coughs> what is it? Get me some water! Relax, Ella! You told me in private that you wish Ella had died that night. And it was later discovered that her drink was poisoned. And this is coming few days after you caught Ella and I making out. I mean, help me make all these things make sense. Greg. Greg, I am telling you the truth. I did not poison Ella's drink. I did nothing. I was only mad at her because of what happened. Come on, Greg. You were banging your colleague. Yes, you cheated on me. How do you expect me to feel or react after what happened? You know very well that I see Ella every day. I see her everywhere. I see her at the company. I see her in the office. Hey. I did not do anything. I don't want to lose my job. I am innocent. <sighs> uh, um, Susan, this is a precarious moment. Okay? Everywhere is so tense right now, especially in the company. I mean, the MD is so heartbroken because we lost a rare gem in the company. Everybody is heartbroken. And to worsen the situation, the company digged out your past and discovered that you are an obsessed lover. Oh, come on. I am not an obsessed lover. I'm not. not. It was just, you know what, let's just forget about that. Hey, please. You need to help me out. You are not. You are not an obsessed lover. Well, Susan, there is nothing I can do at this point. Because anything I do or say in your favor would seem as though I am abating justice. And I don't want to be seen in that light. I'm, I'm, I'm so sorry. The company has moved this case to another station. I have the police monitoring every step I take. I have people following me up and down without me knowing. As it should, from a government that works, the police force are doing their job. Okay. And it's not just you. We are all indicted one way or the other. We've all been invited. And, um, Susan, you are a prime suspect. Oh, yes. Uh, you and that, uh, Fred, Ella's ex-husband. Hey, hey, please. I need you now more than ever. I really do. There's nothing I can do, Susan. Absolutely nothing. This case is huge. It's a mother case. If you're found guilty, you will go in for it. Oh, yes. And it's going to be a case of an eye for an eye. Shit. Shit. I did not kill Ella. Heaven knows that I did not kill Ella. Ha! <sighs> 
Well, it's okay. Um, <clears throat> Officer, that young man called Fred is a killer. Fred is a killer. He is a monster. Yes. He knows everything about the death of my daughter. There is no way he could deny not knowing anything about it. It's not possible. He knows everything concerning the death of my daughter. Um, sir, he is under our custody. Now tell me, what relationship did you have with Fred when he was your son-in-law? The relationship with who? I'm not talking about the relationship. I have no relationship with him. At first, I never liked him. Officer, I never liked that young man. I never liked him as a human being. I never liked him coming close to me. I never liked him coming close to my daughter. Why? Because my spirit rejected him. Officer, my spirit never accepted him from day one. Yes. He is dubious. He is a criminal. He looks deadly. He is over mean. He is not the kind of person I am seeing for my daughter. No. He is a wrong candidate. Officer, he is a wrong candidate. Apart from Fred, is there any other person you suspect that could be responsible for your daughter's death? I don't suspect any person. No other person I am suspecting. Because my daughter was a lovable person. Loved by almost everybody. Fred dealt with my daughter. So if I should suspect any person on this earth plane, that must be no other person than Fred. That young man, Fred, he is deadly. He dealt with my daughter. Fred dealt with my daughter. Um, sir, you have to calm down, please. please. Officer, Fred dealt with my daughter. Fred, Fred, Fred dealt with my daughter, officer. Fred hunted my daughter even after they had separated. He was still after her. Go out of this compound this moment. Papa, it's okay. I said go out of this compound. Papa, just, Papa, please calm down. Calm down, please. Calm down, Pastor Sundebedi. Calm down, don't do it. They are walking, get out. See, I'm up, I'm up, I'm up, I'm up, I'm up. Mama, it's okay. And why is he troubling you? Yeah? Why are you following her around? Eh? Just let this idiot go. Let him go. What have you not done for him? Eh? What have you not given him? Don't you have a tom of shame? Eh? Okay. He never got in one nuku. Kitty never got an answer. Are you not ashamed? Man is yet ten nuku also. Get out. Nah. Mama, it's okay. It's okay. Fred, sign the divorce paper. Please just sign it and let's get this done with. Sign it now, Ken. Just sign it. Because I'm done with you. I am done with you. Just sign the paper and let's let just go our separate ways. Oh no, I am not done with you. You are my wife and that is final. Hmm. Take it or leave hmm. it. I don't know why your parents hate me so much. Yes, we hate you. We hated you. We hate you and we will continue to hate you for raising your ugly hands on my daughter. Who are you? How dare you? Take a good look at her. Look at her. If you have a daughter like this, you have a daughter like this and a man beats her on a daily basis, how will you feel? Hmm. I'm asking you. Zania. I am asking you, are you staring at me? How will you feel? Will you be happy? Talk to me, young man. Will you be happy? How dare you? If and you I'm not signing it. Hold on. Don't talk while I'm talking. Now listen to this. You are leaving this compound this moment. Dead or alive. Ella. I am not signing that divorce paper. You are my wife. And you are my wife forever. You lie. You lie. She said she doesn't want to do it again. It is not by force. Go digger. Just because you know you're no longer an ex of kin, now you want to force yourself and stay here. You cannot say, come and carry my sister and I put down your head and carry out of this Jessica. compound if you have power. Jessica, shut up. Shut up! Let her be. Fred, 
get out. No, quietly, respectfully, respect your old age and get out of this compound. What is your problem? Why are you following me up and down? Why are you following me around? I said get out of this compound, else I will call the police on you. Hello. Mark my word. You will surely regret this. Excuse you. I will regret. My friend, get out of this compound. And stop following me around. Fred, I mean it. Don't follow me around again. Let me. Leave. I said get out. Shameless, Mama. But this year, Tiedu also. I should have, I should have, I should have, I should have butchered this fool here. Fred? Fred? Fred is deadly. Fred killed my daughter, officer. That is the truth. Fred killed my daughter. He killed her. And I will make sure he pays with his life. Sir, like I said, he's under our custody. If he's found guilty, he'll be brought to book. Well, it's okay. Um, <clears throat> what about your wife, Daniela's mother? My wife is in the village. Can I pay her a visit if you don't mind? No problem. Anytime you want to visit her, she's there for you. Jessica, you have to put yourself together. Please. I know it's not a good period for you guys, but you just have to put yourself together. Everything's going to be fine. Um, sir, my deepest condolence. Thank you. The investigation is still ongoing, and the police will appreciate if you do not hoard anything relating to this incident. Officer, why should I hoard the information relating to... You people was finding out the cause of my daughter's death. But I told you the truth. Fred killed my daughter. That is the truth. You can do your work as police. But that is the truth. It's okay. Thank you. I'll keep in touch, sir. Thank you very much. Hey! Oh, you can see you. Oh, you can see you. No, someone should tell me this is not real. This cannot be real. This cannot be real. No. But a woman is not man. One who draws the sword goes by the sword. Woman is not man. He who draws the sword goes by the sword. Fred? Hi! Emily, I know you loved her so much. I know that. We all loved her. Ella was such a nice person, easygoing. But Emily, what you wrote about Linda and Susan, they were just out of it. And I get it. You did that because you were angry. Alright? We are matured here. You know, someone can say something he or she doesn't mean. Will you come off it, Greg? You did not come into my office to say this crap, did you? And I am certain you were not here to defend your girlfriend either. Defend? I wasn't defending her. I was just trying to tell you. Emily, I am trying to open your eyes to see things differently. Really? Oh, yes. I know we had issues in the past some time. Friends do, but it didn't get to the point of killing Anna. Try to see these things, please.
during Linda's birthday, Ella's drink was poisoned. Yes. Immediately after that, her car was tampered with and her car brake broken off two times. Did you count it? Of course I am sure you did not, but I've been keeping records. You are here defending someone you think that matters most to you. Whereas the same person threatened to deal with Ella countless times some time ago. How do you defend that? Emily, this is the same thing. It still boils down to the same thing I was trying to explain to you. Eh? Look at this thing now. Threatened. Threatened. One can threaten but then carry out the act. And listen, don't also forget that Ella had a toxic marriage experience. I have not forgotten that. You have forgotten. You have. Because if you're putting that into considerations, you won't be mentioning all this. Greg, you're getting on my nerves. You're actually getting on my nerves with what brought you here. But the truth is, I will do whatever it takes. I will write in English language, in French, Latin, whatever language if need be, to make sure I fish out the killer of my friend. And when that is done, the person must go down for it. So don't come to my office to preach to me about your girlfriend's innocence because I will not have it. Of course we all know how much of a bitter soul Linda is. If she's found guilty, she will go down for it. That is applicable to Fred as well. Leave my office. Wait, what? I, I should leave your office? This minute. Has he gotten to that? Get out. Get out! I don't blame you. I don't. Danella. You killed Anella, I swear to God I'm going to kill you. You better wait there. Hey, Poma, I swear I'm going to kill you. You killed Anella. How will you kill Danella? Hey, Poma, how will you kill Danella? Eh? Hi. Hey, Poma, I'm going to kill you today. I swear to God I'm going to kill you today. I'm going to kill you. I'm going to kill you today, Poma. Why will you kill Danella? Why will you kill Danella? No, 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 no! Hey, hey! No, no! Jesus Christ! Hey! No, no! I hope, I hope has not found out that I killed Daniela. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Okay. Come please save me. Come now, move on by now. Come please save me, save me. I'm 
Mr. Jack. Mr. Green. Mr. Jack. Mr. Jack. Mr. Green. Mr. Jack. Mr. Green. Mr. Jack. Mr. Jack. Mr. Green. Mr. Jack. Mr. Jack. Mr. Jack. Mr. Jack. Mr. Green. So this is how I'm going to die. Mama, please. Mama, please. Mama, I'm sorry. I am so sorry. I did not do it intentionally. I didn't just know what came over me. I don't know. Ella. Ella, please forgive me, please. I'm sorry. I didn't just know what came up for me. Ella, 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 please forgive me. Ella, please go. Go, please forgive me. Please forgive me. I'm sorry. You know, ever since the death of Ella, I've been so restless. Same here. You're not alone. Your wife. How is she even coping? I mean, they were best friends in our secondary school days. She doesn't do anything. She doesn't eat. I've tried to talk her out of it, but it's not working. Child, understand. It is well. We see anybody that did this. Ella, may you so trouble that person until he or she confesses and die. Amen. So shall it be.
I am. I am not able to accept the fact that you know more. Oh my God, this is becoming so heavy on me. As the day goes by, it's not easy at all. How can I now wake up each day with the realization that you are no more? After all the good memories we had. You, you see that particular company, everything about them is stress. Like there is nothing you do they will they will like. They discredited him. Exactly. My darling, please, I won't stress myself. Through. I won't stress myself for nothing. I am tired. Hello. Like this stress. Hold on, I'll call you back. Again, my friend. <laughs> 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 the latest copper is so This passion. Sorry, uh, that's good for you. My friend, go inside. Always look. Hey, my guy, no man. I'm excited. Oh my, let me break this guy out. <laughs> <laughs> I beg you. I wanted you to go and I want you to go and see. Now you've gone, you've seen, you're back. No, you see. But look at me now. Ah, go back. Give me that salute. Give it to me. I deserve it. Tension. Another one. Woo! My God. Oh my God, sis, I'm so happy to see you. Thank you. Oh my God. My sister is a graduate. I didn't know you were going to be home. My sister is a graduate. Today is Saturday. Today is Saturday. Hey! Sis, how far now? What's been happening to you? Oh my love, how are you? Hi, you don't go work today. Eh? Oh, no, no, no. Today Hi, I wanted to be at home before you come back. I want to surprise my sister. <laughs> Hi, so good to see you. So how see you. Fine. Well, I hope you had fun in camp. Are you sure? Mm -hmm. I love this sis. I know you will. Sis. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Look, thank you for everything you have done for me. I can't thank you enough. I can't thank you enough. And I love you so much. <laughs> I love you too. Mm? Thank you. I am so proud of you. I am proud of the woman you've become. Hmm? And um, now that you are done with school, mm -hmm. you should be thinking of getting a, a job. <laughs> so don't worry. When it comes to that one, I'll take care of it, okay? I'm getting you a befitting job for you. Sis, me. I'm not thinking of getting a job for now. Ha. Mm, really? I just want to chill. I want soft life. Let me chill small. Ha. Just came out of school. The next thing, getting a job. Me, I don't want stress. So let me enjoy my sister's money for a while. Afterwards, you can get me a job. But for now, chilling. Ha. Okay. So you want to enjoy your sister's money? Mm -hmm. It's okay. I get you. But while you are enjoying your sister's money, you should know you will be working for it. Nothing is free in Freetown, baby girl. I don't understand. So, 
consider yourself my personal assistant. My PA. <laughs> oh, sis. <laughs> sis, you're always doing this. Babe. You mean I'm still working as a PA? Of course. Oh, my God. You have to pay for every dime I will be giving you. Eh, no problem now. Mm. At least, I'll be following you everywhere. <laughs> but hmm, I'll spend all my time, but most of my time taking pictures and uploading on Instagram. I hope you can cope with a PA like me. And see, I'll fire you the next day. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> oh, but really, I I get it. I understand. You want to <clears throat> take time and, mm -hmm. and think about your life mm -hmm. and know what you want for yourself. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't have a problem with that. But, um, mm -hmm. sis, there's something very important I want to talk to you about. What is it? I know now you are done with school. Mm -hmm. And when you were in school, you had one or two relationships and all that. That's cool. Oh, it's okay. I'm not judging you. I'm just saying it happens. Everybody did it. And that was when you were in school. Those days are gone. Okay. Now you are done with school and you are in the real life. Do you understand? So any relationship you get into now might lead to something serious. Yes, I'm just telling you. Okay. So, Jesse, I want you to be very careful. I want you to be careful with the man you want to end up with or people you go into relationship with. I'm serious. Jesse, Jesse. I'm listening. No. I need your concentration. Okay, sis. I'm serious. <clears throat> I want you to be careful. Vet them. Vet them thoroughly. Do you understand? You know my story. You know what I went through in the hands of men. And I do not want you to go through that. If there's anything I would give you in this life, is for you to learn from my mistakes. So you do not make the same mistake. Do you understand? Yes. 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 Fine. As a matter of fact, you have to promise me something. What is it, sis? You have to promise me that when you meet anyone, you bring the person <laughs> to me to vet him. <laughs> oh I God. am serious. Of course, sis. Jesse. <clears throat> I have to vet the person. Okay. I promise before I go into any relationship, I must have to vet the person and then bring the person home for my sister to vet. Good. Noted. Better. <laughs> Sis, of course, you're the only one I have in this world. My only big sis. The only sibling I have. So who else would vet my man if not you? Definitely, I will. And sis, I'm so sorry for all that has happened to you. Honestly, you do not deserve it. <sighs> Jesse, can you stop? I'm this sorry. is not about me. I am fine now. We're talking about you. Okay? okay? I just want you to learn from me. Okay. I am your big sis for something. For me to make mistakes so you don't make them. Do you understand? Yes. Good. I love now, you. Now don't make me cry. Don't. Stop. Whew, let's eat. Okay, um, but sis, when are we going home to see Mama and Papa? I really want them to see me oh, as a graduate. My new <laughs> they need to see <laughs> my present status. I see. The last time they saw me, I was still a copper. Oh, okay. Now I am done. Auntie, eat your food first. I'm eating, but... When you're done eating, we can talk about that one. Yeah, but we need to go and see them. Wow, they need to know that <laughs> their daughter is not a graduate. They need to see me as a graduate. Ah, mm. not easy. I don't hear. Are ah. you done? Uh -uh. Can I continue with oh, my yes, food? Oh, yes, it's that easy. Why didn't you get water? I want to drink water. You know I don't like all these oh, okay. things. Okay. Get me water. My bad. Sorry. It's okay. Nobody told me this wasn't going to be easy. Oh, I didn't know. I never knew that feels this way. This is so painful, so painful regardless. You might never know until it happens to you. You need to experience death. To actually know how painful it is, this is not going to be easy. 
and I knew that was so painful but I never I never imagined it to be like this how do I move on how do I move past this stage how do I get this off my mind how do I get my life back Um, you know, I, I like the way you do it. <laughs> Any information from Fred? No, nothing new. His ex girlfriend? That guy is so fascinated, but I won't give up. Whoa, off the record, I don't think she's guilty. Really? Well, you're right. I'm not far from the truth. A new guy just showed up. A new guy? Who? Daniela's lover. She had one? Her sister said they were barely six months in the relationship. Six months? I met her at a business summit. We went, out, we went on a date and then I started liking her personality. Everything about Ella was just it didn't come through for me. Ella was just so perfect. I promised. I promised Ella to love and protect her for the rest of my life. Here we are, Fisa. About my fans. Come on, it hurts. It hurts, officer. I mean, why would someone mother her in her prime? Why? Sorry about the loss. It's fine, officer. It's fine. She told you about her past life with her ex. Man is a beast. If I ever set my eyes on him, I swear to God, officer, I will stab you with my bare hands. No, no. You don't have to do that. Who has prison? Who has sent the assassins if not him? Who has murdered Ella, officer, if not him? He promised. He promised to deal with Ella. Now he has done it, officer. Here we are talking about my fiancé, my dead fiancé, officer. I don't need this to see her to tell me that he has dealt with Ella. He did it, officer. He did it. I won't say that you're 100% right or wrong. But just to put in a no. Fred was also accused of killing Ella. Not just him, so many people. Even in the office. People who claim to be nice and cold would have also want her dead. I stand with the obvious officer. Yes. <laughs> Bring it. You mortal. How dare you? How dare you? Enough! I said, Enough! I'm proud of you. Sit. Sit! Listen. I didn't bring him here for you to lay your hands on him. If you try anything stupid, I will detain you. Is that clear? Is that clear? She was two months pregnant. She was pregnant. She was two months pregnant for me. 
in this beast. On this mother I accuse her. Mr. Roland, put yourself together. I will leave you both to talk like men and put emotions aside. And remember, do not try anything stupid. Else, I will detain you. Not only that, and I'll punish you severely. Is that clear? I'll be right back. Why did you kill her? Nice meeting you, Mr. Roland. That has not answered my freaking question! Do you honestly think that I killed Ella? Please no, I'm begging you, please no. Honey Pikunu, please. Please no. What is even wrong with you? Eh? What? Eh? I said let me go to Uwiri and then meet with Jessica so I can know how the police people are going with their uh, investigation now. And you're just disturbing my life like this. I'm so scared I can't stay alone in this house. Scared of what exactly? Eh? You know Ella and I we were... No, I, I, I don't understand. You're scared Ella's ghost will attack you? No, now. You know, as a pregnant woman, like, I can't stay alone. But before Ella's death, you stay in this house alone. For a week and even more. So what are you saying? But I can't do that now. So what changed? I don't know. I, I, I don't understand you. Eh? I don't understand this, your disturbance these days. It's alright, let me go to Chemaka's house and plead with her to see if she can stay with you until I'm back. As simple as ABC. Okay. Eh? I'll go with you. I said, let me go and talk to her first now. Let's go together. You want to go with me? Ha! It's alright, lock the door. Hmm? Go and lock the door now. I'm trying to. Mm. Go and lock the door so we'll go there together. You're stressing me these days. Don't go. Go and lock the door now. You're stressing me too High time we we'll see a pastor. It's just, it's just time you're scared, you're scared, you're scared of what? It's just you're because I'm pregnant. Like pregnant, pregnant people get scared like. Wow. It's quite a massive building. Oh yes, it is. It is. Uh, this is the building. As she was erecting before they before they ended her life on time. Wow. This is it. I see. So you can see. My daughter was a very, very big girl. My daughter was rich. She had, she had money. But she was working in a very big company. And she was being paid well. So, money wasn't her problem. She was loved by almost everybody. She shared whatever she had with whoever that came around. All of a sudden, the enemies came in. 
and ended her life untimely. And that is why I am telling you, officer, I'm telling you, I will never give a second thought on that boy. Yes, because she divorced him, her ex-husband, and faced her family. Yet, that young man couldn't leave her alone. Followed her. Disturbing her. Well, I, I, I have, I've told you and I'm still saying it. I will never, never give a second thought on that boy. Because I'm very sure that he killed my daughter. Sir, we can't be too sure for now. Until the investigation has ended. You just have to calm down. It's, it's, it's such a pity that she couldn't complete this um, amazing building. Please. You really have to calm down, sir. It's well. It is not well. Officer, it is not well. It cannot be well. It cannot be well. If Daniela did not die, I, 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 then you cannot tell me it is well. I will agree with you. Don't worry. It's well, sir. It is not well, officer. God knows the best. I'm sorry, sir. I may take that because God will never allow that idiot to go scotch. Officer, my husband's brother killed my daughter. Shut up, woman. Why, why you should you say a thing like that? Hey, Biko. He will be Biko, Biko, Biko. Allow me to speak. What do you know you want to talk about? What? Do you know the magnitude of what you are saying? But do you know the magnitude of what you have just said? Magnitude or magnitude or whatever to Allow me to say my mind. Please. Papa, 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 Papa Biko, let Mama talk now. Yeah. Let her talk. She has every right to. Let her say her mind. Besides, her feelings are valid. You yeah. shut up. Papa. Your mother has no right to vomit rubbish here. No. Ibekwe, Ibekwe is my brother. He, he, he cannot think about that. Talk more of doing it. What are you people saying? Um, Mama, why do you think so? Uh, officer, never mind. Forget about her. She is emotionally down. So let us, um, you should just do your work. Don't, don't worry about her. Um, sir, she has a point to make. And she might be right. You know, um, we're doing our <laughs> job and we expect that mm. you help us out. The killer might be out there or here. You never can tell. We can't just start pointing fingers on anyone right now. Please. Mama, please tell me, what makes you think, you know, or believe that your husband's elder brother did that? Thank you, why, Mama. Officer, thank you. Dalo, sir. That man is evil. The man we are talking about is deadly evil. Okay, let me, let me explain it in this way. Some years ago, my husband told me this about his elder brother. Now, this is your story somehow. Eh? I can't come when I called. How can your elder brother hire an assassin to kill his fellow human being just over a land dispute? Nika. Kejun wewu mato asa goburunne. I just told you this story because you are my wife. It is not a thing to be discussed or further stories to be made out of it. No. Besides, it happened so long time. So many years ago, very long time ago. With that long time ago or now, this is totally wrong. Yeah? Who would kill his fellow human being over a land? Nika, I, I, I did not tell you the assassin succeeded. No. But I, I still remember I told you the assassin at a point recognized his target as an old friend. 
and that 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 spoiled the whole thing. And of course, led to the exposure of our brother. Our brother was exposed at the end of the day. And I know what we passed through. We spent all we saved, even borrowed. We passed through, in fact, we spent so much to make sure he did not go to shed. Yes, it was what we spent that made him not serve in the prison. So I, 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 I don't know. Some people can be so mean. No? Yeah? So if the assassin did not recognize uh, uh, that his old friend, that's how your brother would have succeeded in killing an innocent man. Uh, 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 please, please. Neka, please, can, can, we, can we just change this topic? Let us forget about it. Okay. okay yeah, uh, okay. Don't, don't blow it further. Uh, please. Uh, I, I, it's okay. And, and I, I just told you the story as an example. As one of the things that happened sometime, somewhere, somehow. Let us forget about it. Okay. okay. Yes, yes. Uh, let's forget about it. So um, let's talk about this. So, what about uh, what you said you would buy from the market? Did you get them? It was it. It was it. Oh, you are here. It was it. I saw some boys on that land at Oji. I asked them, "Yeah, what are you people doing on this land?" They said, you asked them that you actually gave them money to clear that land. Ha! You will why not? But I told you I, 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 I intend to build a block of shops on that land. So why are you encroaching on that land? Why? Hmm? Why? Ibekwe, you intend to build a block of shops on that land? Yes. But I came to you. I personally came to you. And we discussed it, sealed it, agreed that I should go ahead. Because I told you, Daniela, my daughter, wants to build a house for her mother and myself. You and I discussed it and you said we should go ahead. Now, why are you coming up to say I should stop the project on the way? Why? By the way, who are you to ask me to discontinue the project? You? You are asking me who I am? Mua, Ibekwe, you want to know who I am? Hey, Mwa, tell that your Daniela. She will hear from me. You cannot do anything, Ibekwe. Huh? Yes, you cannot do anything to my daughter. You are just a barking mad dog. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's all. Ujaki in her more. You can't do anything. Nika, you come here, bingo. Mighty bingo. I am barking. Yes! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa! That's it! That's it! Let, 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 let me tell you. You cannot do it. Neka is not afraid of you. I am not afraid of you. Okay? You don't want us to build our house. You don't want us to do anything in, in any of that, those lands. Okay, share the land you have with your junior brother. You refuse. What is it? I got more progi. I got progi than this family. Get out, Miko. Get out. I am Bingo. Mua. Get out. Yeah? I don't have business with you. Listen to me, my friend. You are my brother. Hmm? I want you to understand that this Ibekwe you are seeing. I am Toffee. Dry meat. If you chew me slowly, you will savour it. But if you swallow me, I will choke you. You can swallow me. I warn you. If I ever see any human being, including your Daniela and yourself on that land. Oh, Ibeke will deal with you. Don't try me. Ibeke, get away. You cannot do anything. And what do you think? All you right. can't do anything. You are a bad okay. mad dog. All right. What is all this? Nonsense. You are a dry meat. I am a stockfish. If you chew me, I will choke you. I will tear your throat apart. 
I will tear your throat apart. Useless man. Nonsense. Why is Uncle always doing this to us? Oh, what is the meaning don't. of all this? Never mind. This is a person I went to his house personally. I went to him, we discussed it, we agreed. And now he's coming here to shout and make noise. Look at him swinging like a praying mantis. I, 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 have, I have respect for him because he's my elder brother. I'm not afraid of him. Is this the kind of uncles other people have in their family? He's a noise maker. What is all this? He's a noise maker. He doesn't maker. want anything good to come from our own, our, own, our own part of the family. What is the meaning of this? Is it not your blood? Never mind. I said he has come here, but he came here to make noise. But why did you tell him that he was making noise? But he called you a woman that you should keep quiet, and you kept quiet. Great quiet! I didn't keep quiet! No, 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 no! How did you talk to him? You would have told him that he was making noise! Oh, please, Vico, this is not, this is not, this is not the time for all this. What well, is all this look, now? What? Mama, don't you heard the way I talked to him. Okay, it's okay, it's okay. Listen, I gave it to him. It's okay. I gave it to him. What is don't this? Mind the he's Papa is not the problem. Your uncle is the problem. Nonsense. Useless uncle. He cannot do anything. I don't, I don't, I can't do this time. Even he works like a playman. I gave a portion of land to you when he informed me that Daniela had decided to build a house for her parents. I said, oh, fine. Now take that one and go and build it. I was surprised when I saw him bu building on the other, the other larger one. I, I said, why? Why do this? He said, eh, eh, Daniela said, the land I gave to, 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 to him is too small uh, it's for the kind of house she wants to build. Can, can, can you imagine? Imagine what? Eh? Oh, so Daniela, you now make decisions in this house. They come with Daniela. Daniela, yeah. Da, this da, 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 a woman. Don't just go there. Why, why, why would I go there? Because don't go there. Why, 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 you must not go there. I will go there. Don't go there. I will go there. That's not that will happen. It's okay. It's okay. Enough. Why can't you people control yourselves? Bialio. Ewu. Is it true that he gave you a portion of land and you later rejected it? Is it true? This person you're looking at that you may want to call my brother is a wicked soul, very angry soul. It's bad, not from within. He won't say. Answer his question. Is it true? Anyway, I want take it easy. Listen. Because there is no truth. Oh no, I believe in water. Mama, I didn't. I didn't want to see the amount. Where? Good. If you see this small portion of land he gave to me, he showed me. Not up to fifty by fifty. Very little, very the smallest portion of land in our family. So how do you expect my daughter to build on that? What, 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 what is she going to do with that small portion of land? So there is nothing else to do than to commence work on the little place he, she can manage. Hmm. And he is here hmm. making noise. <laughs> hmm? Less than fifty by fifty. Ichi Ibekwe. Is it true that you gave your brother a small portion of land that will not be enough for him to build a house? That you gave him a small portion of land? You, you want to tell me how to rule my family? But you, no, you, you are here to make peace. You are here to make peace. Please, don't put a son down pieces into it and mind your business. What do you Who mean? You to what do you mean by that? Are we are here to make peace. peace. The question he asks is not too much. The question is how harmful. Is it too much for you it's to answer? It's a simple question. My elders, if I may. Uncle Ibekwe, when I was about to start up this project, when I was about to embark on this project, I remember coming to you as the elder of this family, as my father's elder brother. Because when I asked my father for a land where I would build a house for him and my mother, the land he showed me was very small. Very small piece of land that would not be enough to build anything on it, not even a bungalow. I begged you. I begged you as the elder of this family. I said, Uncle, please, 
I need a bigger land where I can build for my parents. If possible, their house is your house. I am not just building for my parents. I am building for the whole family. Because if you come to my father's house and ask for a room, we will not chase you away. We will give you a room. I pacified you. I begged you. You were the one who pointed to that piece of land, the one we are talking about now. You were the one that pointed to pointed me to it and said I should build on that one. Before I went ahead to build there. Uncle, you agreed. We had an agreement. I remember you telling me you needed a car. He said something about him needing a car. I said, no problem. That I will gift you a car, which is already on process because your car is almost getting to you. Uncle, we had an agreement. But why this meeting has been called is what I don't know. Why we are gathered here having this discussion is what I don't understand because there is no way I will encroach on a land that is not ours. Uncle, you were the one who pointed me to that land. I did not just go into that land and start building. Wait, oh, Daniela. Daniela, what did you just say? Huh? So, both of you went at our back and had a meeting and concluded that you will buy a car for this useless man. Mama, it's too, Mama. When I, eh, eh. Look, let me tell you. You can never get a pin from my daughter. She can never buy you any car. Not when I am still alive. Unless you need a cap. No, no, no. She can buy you a cap. Not a car. Daniela. Daniela. Since you and your father, you now feel you are stronger than me. And you know so much. And you think you can encroach on that land. Let me see anyone, any one of you on that land. Eh, if I don't kill you, then call me a bastard. Eh, I will send... All of you to Eli, I will send you to Eli Grave. If you enter that land, if if you try, come and try me. I am in the way. You will know the kind of person I am. Go and touch that land. Enter that land, no. You are going too far. Galewas, nonsense. He has shown that he's a troublemaker. It will not happen. He's an anachronistic imbecile, and we are going to deal with him. We are going to return fire for fire. Now, this is our stand, and this is what I am asking you to do. Go to that land and build. He is not going to do anything. This man has poured sand on our face, and we are not going to allow him to go free. Nothing will happen, I agree with you, and I'll, my daughter will commence work yes. immediately. Go ahead and build on that land. Nothing will happen. God wake God wake to save Johnny. Amen. Oh? Yes, Mama. Go well. Thank you, Mama. Uh, as you go, I will not you here for one Is always be conscious of whom you are, where you're coming out from, and of course have a focus on where you're going. Thank you very much, Papa. Thank you. Eh, uh, Mama. Jessica will be coming over this weekend to help me wash some of my clothes. Hmm? Mm. Okay, Noria. There's no problem. <laughs> She's not doing anything here. Of course, I shall be there. Uh -huh. <laughs> um, Papa, yeah. I've sent money over to Obina, so work will commence this week. I do you. Mama. 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 One I'm with Jara Quenisi. Ella, um, the pride of her father. Oh, that's a good one. Thank you very much. <laughs> Papa, thank you. Yes, okay. Um, um, Papa, Mama, I want to beg you two for something. Biko, nobody should take fight to Uncle Biko's house. Agent Chukuyon. Just let him be. Eh? Let him be. I will handle him. As a matter of fact, on my way out now, I will stop at his place to talk to him. Mama, please. Please, I'm Can begging you. Can you listen to you. me? Why don't you go straight to, to, to your house? Mama, did, did I not beg you for something? Ella! Okay. Be cool. Ella! Ella! Uh, Obina. Please, everyone. Yes. Well, what Obina. is it? Ella. Warn your uncle. He came to the side of the cockpit and sent all my workers away. Warn him or I will deal with that man. Ah. What? 
No, what are you talking about? He came in there with matches and chased all my workers away. Is he crazy? I mean, I, I, I don't, I don't know the fan. Obina, calm down. Obina, hey. calm down, please. What, what happened? He, he just came in there with cutlass and chased everybody away. And I, I don't understand that man. Just like that. Just like that. I, I think he's crazy. Papa, where are you going? Oh, my God. Papa, Papa, Papa. Oh, oh Daniela, no, why you Mama, be back with you. What do you mean, living? Go in. Papa, you start to live. Papa. I know you are the one instigating my brother against me. Mana! Hmm. Yeah. Neka, you know me. Listen to me. If you got that Daniela, that Daniela, you people are boasting with. We shall see the end of it, too. We shall see the end of it. Ibekwe. We shall see nothing. We shall see nothing but your end. We shall see nothing but your end. Ibekwe. The outcome of Daniel and Wam will be your death. What do you think you can do? What do you think you can do, Ibekwe? Why are you so wicked? No, why are you boasting around the village red seeing how you are shoulder? I got what proge? I got Eh? Why? Oh, I get it. Because you think you know all the hired killers and evil men of this land. You know them all. You are partnershiping with them. Oh yeah. That's just it. <laughs> Ibekwe. Ibekwe, I know your history. They said you are a bad man and they had not to crack in this village. But let me tell you. I am an uncrackable nut. I am an uncrackable. Leka, Leka, I am happy that you say you know my history. And you know what I am capable of doing. <laughs> I, I, I'll be hard not to crack. And you, uh, crack. Leka will crack. If you crack me as I go on, no. if you crack Neka, you lose all the teeth in your mouth. Hey. From A to Z. Hey. Useless man. Anyway, I don't have any business. I'm kidding, Kibekwe. All right, it's well. I only have business with. We shall see. Warn your Daniela. Don't tempt me. Biko. Don't be we me. shall not see anything but you the end see. of you. Eh? Yes. You will see. We shall see the end of you. You will see. You cannot do anything. Eh. The end of you, you in the grave. That's what we will see. Yeah, Get woman. out, say Bonkering Kamado. You are a woman. You won't say. You are a you, you, you are a useless man. Okay. Bonkering Kibekwe. Ibekwe Suzu Po Biko. All right. Suzu Po. You won't say. Suzu Po. Hear from me. Madman. Hey. Bonkering Kibekwe. Hey. Look at him. Ibekwe. Ganga Mado. Useless man. Nonsense. The end will be your life. Your life will end. It's okay. It's okay. I told you people. It's okay. Just leave on the way for me. I will handle him. Hmm? That particular land, I chose it for a purpose. That's where I want to view the project on. So leave on the way. I know how to handle him. Okay. Please. Look at him. Your father is the cause. He's always afraid of confronting his elder brother. Neya. Keep quiet. I am not afraid of anybody. I am only being respectful. Ibekwe is my elder brother. After all, my younger ones do respect me. I'm only respecting him. Elder brother call. And he's refusing to share your parents' properties with you. I understand Onku very well. Onku is a very corny man. Mm. And I know what he's trying to do. He knows we don't have brothers. And he knows that very soon we're going to both get married and leave this house. So he's patiently waiting for that time to come so that he can occupy this property all alone. I know that's what he's trying to and do. And that will never happen. 
Not when Neka is in this family. It cannot happen. Mankwenu, Daniela must surely build our house on that land and nothing will happen. I said leave him, leave him. I will handle him. Yes. Nobody should fight for me. Don't worry. I don't want anybody fighting over anything. Did he I will handle him. Okay. Be You think it's all about knowing Ayakilas? Ayakilas on Eko. Let him try my family. That's why I am my family. Mama, it's okay now. It's okay. Did I not say you should leave him for me? I don't want anybody fighting for me. Nobody should fight for me on this issue. I will handle him myself. And if he proves stubborn, I will use the authority on him. It has not gotten to the fact of, to, to the point of anybody fighting on anybody or anybody hire killer or this. What's all this now? Eh? You if you're not going to let this slide, I will I will go back to the city. I'll leave the project. Uh, no, no. No, 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 I will leave it. No, you you won't. Uh -uh. Please now. Did you hear that? Mama Biko, who can in is your ego is your is your food ready? Maybe you want her to abandon the project. If you don't want to give me food, I'll go back home. Yeah, 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 yeah. Young woman, I know you are doing your job. And I will not be mad at you. Why? But allow me to take you down the memory is in. More ears, sir. My mother died at the age of 105. 105. Hmm. She is in my uh, Daniela. A white man. A white priest baptized her in the Catholic, uh, Roman Catholic Church and then gave her the name Daniela. And ever since we forgot about her native name, now we are using Daniela. Mama Daniela. Before she died, My, my brother's wife, Nika, was heavily pregnant and uh, she was due for delivery. Well, 1988. Yes, mm -hmm. I remember. 1988. The very day my mother died, was when Nika gave birth to my brother's child, a daughter. And I said, ah, ah, it will, ah, this is our mother. Come back, reincarnated in our family. Ah, you must name her Daniela. He accepted. So why would I? I saw how as my own mother reincarnated. So why will I now kill? Why will I kill my own mother? My own daughter. Now listen to me. If Nika Ah, Nika, Nika. If Nika were to be truthful to herself, I was the first person. I bought the first pair of sandals for Daniela, two exercise books, and a pen. When she got admission into the junior secondary school, GSS 1. I, if people did it, I did it too. I did it. Nobody! I, 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 I love her. I 
number. But I did it. So why would I like you? Prove what? A piece of land? Young woman. How much is the price of a piece of land to a human life? No, no. If the group will not do that, why, 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 why will I do that? Well, I'm sorry, Iche Ibekwe. There is a disturbing history about you and a higher assassin. Probably back in your youthful days. You know, that was why we had to, you know, bring you in for interrogation. Based on your personality and the kind of life you've been living, you know, a lot of people will talk. People have their own ways of talking about people, but there's not a problem. You know, you actually had um, issue with your friends consigning a land dispute, mm. and you tried to assassinate him, right? Mm. Okay. Um, Iche Bikwe, why do you think that I should believe that you cannot do? what you did to your close friend in the past to your niece Daniela <laughs> Daniela <laughs> Daniela I got the information that Daniela wanted to kill me he tried not once not twice not twice. One, two, three. The money fulfilled. I let go to tell you. And I'm proud to say it. That I hired assassins. Assassins. They should kill him. I did. I'm proud to say that. Not once, mm -hmm. not twice, mm -hmm. not thrice. Yes. And you couldn't report to the police. Police, police. I did. Police took bribe. Gosh. Really? Oh, you knew the country. Oh, my little fool, my little fool. Well connected, very wealthy. He has all the connection. And look at little me. Then I had nothing. I couldn't fight him. I didn't have the wealth to fight him. But I fought him with my blood. I said, No way will Umbani will take my father's land away from me. I fought. I fought with everything. Hmm. I can see this is sounding really hmm. interesting, sir. Hmm. Hmm? We are telling the most interesting part of it. I want you. We went from court to court to court to court to court. And I won. And all this while I fought. Mbanefo. No member of my family came to my aid. I asked my brother, Iwu. Iwu, tell me. You know what he told me? Iwu said, oh, let go of that land. It is, you see, it, your life is not worth that land. Forget it. That same land that he said I should forget. And I fought. I almost died on it. That is the land that now his daughter and his, his immediate family are not interested in. If you were in my shoes, would you be happy?
All right. Um... And I will want to tell you one thing. Me, I love Daniela. I love Daniela. I see Daniela as my reincarnated mother. That. Why would I kill Daniela? Um, Ichebekwe. Are you trying to tell me that you are not responsible for your niece's death, Daniela? Why? Over what? I, I will swear. I swear. I will swear under the sun. I will just bring any date. I will swear. My hands are clean. See? So how did he go with this deceased uncle? I see no crime in him. Really? I, I think this is getting more creepy. What do you think? We need to do our job, that's it. <sighs> yes, you're right. Oh, well, um, Fred and the Roland are getting more close. I mean, they're getting to know each other. I don't understand. Because I invited him again and I have this notion that we are we're here to get to the right target. Well, <clears throat> let's just make do with the information we have already gotten so far and keep pushing. Let's just focus on our job because the boss wants it done as soon as possible. You know that. Babe, I, I think this is really taking much of our time because tomorrow we're in the office, tomorrow we're in the village, uh, you know. Brian. It's, it's taking much of our time. I am pregnant. Really? Oh, well, come on, I think this is one of your jokes. <laughs> one of my jokes? Yes. I'm dead serious, like I said, I'm pregnant for you. Really? Oh, come on, you're not, you're not sounding so serious about this. Tell me, how crazy is it? You are? <laughs> I'm here. Wow, so I'm going to be a father. Mm -mm. Of course. <laughs> so this is more reason you should leave this whole thing for me to handle because I don't want anything to happen to you. Oh, please. Time. Please, 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 please. I am still Inspector And who is the man here? I don't get it. This is my house. You do what I say. <laughs> okay. Just be naughty. Wow. So I'm going to be a father. <laughs> Baby, I'm done with the food. Eh? Oh, fuck. Baby. Baby. Baby, the food is ready now. Wake up. What kind of sleep is this? Babe. Wake up now. Baby, wake up now. What's the meaning of this now? Your food is ready. Wake up now. Eh? Baby, wake up now. Hey. 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 Baby. Baby, wake up. Wake up. The food is ready now. Wake up, please. Baby, wake up. You, you can't do this to me. You can't do this to me. You know I love you so much. Wake up. Wake up, baby. Somebody help. Ah. Baby. Baby, wake up. Ah. Wake up now, please. Baby, the food is ready now. Wake up, wake up. <laughs> wake up now, please. Baby. Ah, somebody help! Jesus! What's going on? Why, why, why are you shouting, Jesus? 
What is it now? No. no. What do you mean, no? Why, 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 why did you wake up like that? Nothing. I'm, I'm okay. You can't tell me you're okay. How can you be okay and you woke up like that? Hey. What's going on? Baby, I'm fine. If there's no way you tell me you're fine looking like this. Opim, I just said I am fine. I'm fine now. I'm fine. Who killed that? The beautiful soul. Go, go back to bed. I'm fine. Who killed that? And let it with a heart of gold And let it with a smile In a tropic Daniela, Daniela It was We all know that you lost your daughter the breadwinner of your family. But you are not supposed to report the matter or accuse your brother of masterminding the death of your daughter without reporting the matter to the elders. We have a way of doing things. <coughs> Iwunzi. Yes. I will fault you on that. Yes. You shouldn't have taken this matter to the police without first consulting us. Picon. Elders. We were known. Don't be angry. Nobody should attack my husband. Police came here and asked me questions. And I boldly told them that Ibe here killed my daughter and must be punished. Ah. Yes, I did. Is it because of the land dispute? Mm. Ah, Neka, you overreacted. You overreacted. How are you sure that Ibekwe here has a hand in the death of his niece? Uh. Do I need a soothsayer to tell me that? Mm. I overreacted. But the person that killed my daughter did not overreact. <laughs> eh? Daniela, my daughter that is lying cold in the mortuary, is not overreaction from this family. But my, me reacting over it is overreaction. Why? 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 What do you have to say about all this? Uh, <clears throat> thank you, my brothers. Um, a brother that kills his own blood to stay alone in the world. When others who have brothers are boasting that they are not alone in the world, will that killer of his own blood boast along with them? Yes! He will boast along with them 100%. Because that's what your type does. Mm. Yes. He will boast along with them. I choose to ignore you now. Uh, I know I had a problem with my brother. I had an argument with him. Over the piece of land he is building on. Would that warrant me to kill my own niece? Why should I kill my own niece over over a piece of land? Why? You threatened to eliminate Daniela. We are you not the one that vomited it with your mouth? Eh? In a mass, in a gang? Eh? Are you running? Make. No, admit what you said and what you did. Make the statements you are making is very, very ambiguous. I'm a weapon ambiguous, eh? I'm a weapon ambiguous, nine. If the biggest should be said, it will go to this person. Ah. Because it was the person that made this statement in the first place. He said that he will eliminate my daughter, Daniela. And he did. But come on, that was not the threat. Those were mere words. 
It's again. May what? May words. Let me threaten you with matches to cut off your head. No, let me threaten you with may words. Now, nah, because don't allow me to talk to. Anything can come out of my mouth. What do you mean? Everybody should mind his or has, 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 mind his business. So, what is my weight? She is not the husband. No, I am. Kudu lo mi esi no nam kono chara. No, you want to swallow up my family. I should be lying quiet like a wolf. No, I will talk. I will shout. I will cry. I will weep. I will wail. Nonsense. Again, no. I have a case with the government. And I know that, in fact, I am 100% sure I will be vindicated. And when that happens, I will come for you. If I not, I will deal with you, you and you naked. You hey. accusing me of killing Daniela. You will hear from me. Are you hearing him? Ooh. No, are no, you hearing him? Don't you know me? But you need to be careful. Do you know that there is no proof for this accusation? It is a heavy weight he dropped that dropped an accusation to itself. That is it. Accusation and Bagarin and Kete, something draws accusation. Nick, Are you hearing me now? I am vindicated and I am proved right that I am innocent. Eh, Nick. Talk to your brother. Talk to these people. Tell them the truth. Who is the husband and who is the wife? Anybody can because be anything. I don't understand. Talk to your brother. Talk to him. Say the truth now. Say the truth. Jesse, I, I don't want you to think yourself to death, please. Okay? What has happened has happened. We, we cannot question God. I need you to be strong. I believe he needs you also to be strong. Please. It's okay. I'll try and be back here tomorrow. Okay. okay. Thank you. You're Thank welcome. you so much for stopping by. Come on, it's okay. Please call me if you need anything. If you just call me, I'll be here. Thank you so much. Thank you for stopping by. It's okay. What are you doing here? What are you doing here, monster? Jessica. Jessica wants us to talk. Talk about what? What can you possibly want to talk about with me? I have nothing in common with you, murderer. Murderer, yes, that's what you are. You have no business coming here. And hey, let me just give you an information that will help you. I am not alone in this house, just so you know. All right? And every security gadget in this house has been installed and fixed. And they all now work properly well. Just in case you have any plan cooked up in your messed up mind. Because I know you have nothing but criminality in your head. Murderer, a killer, and more. That's what you are. Okay, so please, I have nothing in common with you. Darkness and light, they have nothing in common, alright? So now you get your pieces together and get out of this house. Jessica, I may be a bad guy, mean and brutal. I may not be your favorite. Or your family's choice of a guy. But one thing is certain, and that is the thing I want you to know that I did not kill your sister. No, indeed, I killed her then. You didn't kill my sister. Of course, you didn't. You didn't. I believe you. All right? Well done. Now leave. Leave. Is that too difficult? I want to pay my last respect. Huh. You must really have some nerve coming here. Your last respect to the same lady that you killed, right? I did not kill her. You are so brutal! Get out! Get out! It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Get out! Get out! 
And hey, hey, listen to me. Listen and listen very good. This is the last time you're ever going to show up here. Do not bring your ugly, murderous and disastrous face ever again in this premises. Murderer! Killer! God punish you. Hello? Hello? Listen to me. I, 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 I can't... He, he was here. I'm so... I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm so terrified. I'm scared. I don't know what I'm going to do. I, I can't stay here alone. Alright, look, look, Jessica, just calm down, okay? Just calm down. Listen. Why don't you call the police immediately? Yes, call the police. Okay, you know what? Um, let me call uh, Emily. Let me call Emily to come and keep you company. Emily is unreachable. I can't reach her on phone. I don't know what I'm going to do. What? Have you called her already? Her line is not reachable. I'm so scared. Please, just come. <laughs> yes. Please, please come now. Please, I, I beg of you. I'm, I'm so scared. I can't be here all alone. I can't. I can't. Okay, you, you know what? Just calm down, okay? Calm down. I'm on my way, okay? Yes, I'm coming right away. Jesse, just calm down, okay? I prom Yes, I'm coming right now, right now. Okay. Who killed that? The beautiful soul. Who killed the Thank you. 